Greetings Diecast Racing fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage here at Vulcan Raceway. And today I'm stood with the Flying Fenman and he's about to test 37 of my favourite cars. The Carroll Shelby AC Ace, because AC, people talk, hear me say AC Cobra. So, when AC went out of business, Carroll Shelby bought the bodies of the AC Ace, which is what he then stuffed a massive Ford motor in to make the Shelby Cobra 427SC, or the classic Cobra, like you can see behind me. It is my favourite car of all time. It is the cast that I collect above all others. And I have a lot of them. And I have some more on the way. And in fact, I picked up a new one yesterday, which you'll see in the racing, because it was brand new out. So, this series will probably be my favourite ever series. I don't know whether we'll ever get to repeat it. But, we're going to race the Cobras. We're going to get 16 of them. Um, and... We're going to have drivers and yeah, it's going to be an amazing shootout. Today there are 37. My one here would be 38. It's not going down the thing. There is another one. Uh, and There's a few others that I've got that are not open. I've actually now got 42 different versions of this cast. Um, I have a load more potentially on the way once I have the money to send to the guy that has them. But before we get into the main part of the video, don't forget to do the usual things like comment and subscribe. So we've got safety teams on site. We have got police support on site. And here are the vehicles. This is the brand new release. Literally, I picked it up from the supermarket yesterday. So this is one of the older ones on the black walls. Should recently have seen my video on my collection. And the Flying Fenman is going to put them all down, starting in the red lane. And those that pass through the red lane will move on to the blue lane, and hopefully, we'll get 16 that go through. We can see the first one up the line. It is the red with the opening bonnet it's on the black wall tires it's quite heavy uh, those that get past the line will go on the inside those that don't will go on the outside three two one place and the black wall doesn't make it next up Similar tampos, but on this. Like a rocket ship. On the gold wheels. Makes it. On the um, six spokes. Makes it, but slower. This is one of the newer versions of the cast, doesn't have an open bonnet. I have a super treasure hunt version of this. And it doesn't make it. Next up, red with flames. Had an issue down at the far end. Send that again. doesn't make it please do bear in mind that some of these are quite old these are not necessarily fresh from pack and have been pre-loved a burgundy one doesn't make it red 29 makes it nice and clearly the pink with these wheels makes it pink with these wheels it 
makes it but faster. The camo one. Makes it. I don't think this is going to make it. It's a Schwartz special edition. It's on real riders. But we'll see. It makes a nice noise, but doesn't make it. Fluorescent yellow with the fishing net over it. Like a rocket ship. One of the more modern or later versions. I think this is the last couple of years, the yellow. So that's non opening bonnet, plastic base. This one has an opening bonnet and a plastic base. And doesn't make it. This one is a colour changer. It's on FTEs. Lightning. First of the white ones, the football soccer. Uh, soccer as the Americans call it, but football special edition. Very nicely done. I really love the tampos on this one. 47. It's opening. It's metal on metal. And five spokes. That sounds really good coming down the track. The airplane one, especially, uh, looks like an F-16 to me. The white one that I used in the logo pick. Ooh, doesn't make it. It span out just before the line, so let's just hope that this next one makes it, which is the grey one with the 29 on it. Yep. This one is the Pride Rides, given, and it doesn't make it. Another old one on black walls. Oh, almost makes it in reverse, but doesn't. Grey one, opening, metal on metal, on five spokes. Makes it. This one on the gold with the black, I think looks quite sexy. And doesn't make it. You only need one more to get 16 through to round two. This one, silver with the orange. Doesn't make it. Now this is the one I picked up yesterday. I absolutely love this. I love the tampos on it. Silver or Zamac with that. Very smooth. Now, there's three different colours of this. There's the silver, the lime, and the blue. The silver doesn't make it. Next up is the lime. Makes it. But that's also got, I don't know if you can see the focus on the tyres, it's got stuff on the tyres as well. Now the blue one, until I got my red line, this was the favourite one that I had. Let's see how this runs. Nice and clearly across the line. Seven to go and we're into the classic blue ones. Black windscreen that looks like an absolute rocket ship. 
I won a tournament in the States in one just like that. Another one from the recent years in the blue. Gets across the line. Birthday special edition opening bonnet, metal on metal. Gets across. The teal. Doesn't make it. Just three to go. Dark blue. Nice and easily makes it. One of the first ones I picked up when I started collecting back in 2019. Black with red. Doesn't make it. Last car on the red lane, the all black from the black special edition. Three, two, one. Spins out. Fifteen didn't make it down the red lane, which means that these twenty-two move on to the blue lane to hopefully get sixteen through to be selected for the actual competition. First one's up at the line. Going to do the same again. Those that fail will go on the outside. Those that pass go on the inside. Three. Two, one, nice. Nicely makes it. One on the curvy three spoke, like a rocket ship. This one. Dark with the 29 on the front. Doesn't make it. First the pinks. Second pink. The camo. Lime green, a oh, lime green, lime yellow, bright yellow, fluorescent yellow. Doesn't make it because it's span round. The modern yellow. The super light colour changer. Very smooth. The white football. Black and Flames at 47. That looks like that's going to be one to watch out for in the comp. The white F16. Span round and finished in reverse. The grey 29. quite a few of them swapping ends that one didn't make it either we have eight left to run and we currently have 11 through so makes it across the line the newest one The lime, uh, yeah, the lime coloured one. My second favourite blue one now. Ooh, doesn't make it. 
four left and we only need two to go through. That one's going through and that one's going to be fast and whoever picks that is going to be lucky. The modern blue. Well, that's 16. We've got two left. The birthday. So we're going to need to make some selections. And this darker one. That doesn't make it. So these five didn't make it down the blue lane, but these 17 did. So I only need 16 cars. There will be one reserve. Um, and what I'll do is I will make a decision off camera and then come back to you with what the final decision is on which one that's going to be put out. It will probably be one of the pink ones or one of the red ones because I noticed there was one of them that was quite slow. So we will see how this goes. So here they are, the 16 that are going through to the competition. And the other pink one lost out because what I did, I raced off these two red ones to see which was the faster, put the faster one through. Raced off the two pink ones, which see what the faster, that was that one. And raced the pink one against the slower of the red ones and the red one was faster. So that means the pink one is the backup car, but we've got the fastest cars through. So there's your 16. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is the birthday one, nine, ten, that's probably my top pick is that blue one there in the middle of the screen, the uh, lime, the new one, grey is quite nice, the white F16, the white and black, which is probably one, apart from the blue ones, my favourite looking one. And the soccer one, which I'm guessing that Matthew Harding might try and get. Um, he is a bit of a soccer thing. He held a Guinness World Record for a number of years. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you all again next week for testing where these cars will have their drivers, but the Flying Fenman will be taking them down the track to see what the speeds are. And we'll catch you all again then.